What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to our blogging income report for the month of April 2022. If you're joining us for the first time, what I do here is cover all the key performance indicators for all our channels relating to our blog, Blogging Money Life. I discuss our metrics relating to all of our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I also discuss some metrics relating to our YouTube channel and email list growth. After that, I show you a detailed breakdown of our website traffic and we finish it up with a profit and loss summary for our blog. All right, so let's get started with YouTube. Just by glancing at the April column on our YouTube metrics tracking sheet, you see a lot of green. That is a good indicator that April was a good month for us. We added 72 new subscribers to our channel, bringing our total to 639. Views are up 45% this month over March for a total of 7,209. Our watch hour growth rate is also up 14% for a total of 554 watch hours this month. Click-through rate is doing well, up 38% from March, and we are sitting at 6.2%. Our average view duration has dropped pretty significantly, almost a minute, and we are holding at four minutes and 41 seconds. We released four videos in April, and the age of our channel is 14 months old. Overall, we're pretty happy with where our YouTube channel is. In order for us to monetize YouTube, we need to get this number, our total number of subscribers to 1,000, and our total watch hours over the past 365 days to 4,000. So we're a little over halfway there for both of those metrics. And just by looking at the data, you can see an upward trend. I think if we could continue the momentum we have going right now, it'd take us about six more months until we're actually monetized through YouTube. Let's move on to Instagram. Our Instagram grew by 11 followers this month, and we finished at 1,085. We don't really do a lot of social media posts, and we put out five this month. From those five Instagram posts, we received 119 content interactions. Let's head on down to Facebook. We gained two new Facebook followers and two new page likes for a total of 77 followers and 68 likes. We posted six times to our Facebook account and received 15 content interactions. I'm not gonna go into Pinterest. We haven't really done anything with that. Overall, we don't really have a large presence on social media. I'm not convinced that when we do post to our social media accounts that it actually drives a significant amount of traffic to our website. So although it is nice to have, it's great for branding, I am not really seeing a payoff for the effort at the moment. But I do recognize the power of social media and a good social media content uh, promotion strategy. All right, let's go over the data for our email list. Having a strong email list is one of our strategies for monetizing our blog. And as you can see, we are slowly growing our email list. At the moment, our total subscribers is sitting at 447. We added 84 new subscribers to our email list this month. We sent out a total of 425 emails and our open rate is sitting at about 29%. I think we're doing a pretty decent job at bringing in subscribers. Our growth rate gets a little bit bigger every month and the process we're using for bringing in new subscribers is pretty much automatic. Our rate of unsubscribes is pretty low so that is a good sign indicating that we're not annoying our subscribers or sending them useless content. Our open rate is almost at one third, which is a number I'm pretty happy with. All right, let's talk about our website. The age of our blog is now nine months old. We have a total of 49 articles published on our blog. We did not publish any articles this month. Out of those 49 articles on our website, Four of them are ranking 
within the top 10 results of a Google search for their specific keywords. Our Moz Domain Authority sits at 11, which hasn't changed over the past three months. After a significant drop of impressions in March, we are getting back on track and we are sitting at 50,606. Our click-through rate is 1.4%. Our average position in a Google search is 41. So if you are searching for one of our articles via our targeting keywords, we would probably show up on average page four. We received just over 1,200 users to our website. Total page views is just over 2,000 at almost 1,400 sessions. Bounce rate is at 62% and almost 700 of our users found us organically. So just to kind of reinforce what I said earlier about why we haven't really been posting a lot on social media, it shows us here that 43 of our users came to us through our social media websites. All right, now we can move on to our profit and loss summary. Our goal for Blogging Money Life is to set up a monetization strategy that includes affiliate networks, advertising networks, sponsored post networks, partnerships, and products. Right now we are only earning income from two of those streams. We currently do not have the traffic that allows us to join any of those big advertising networks, but we are working with Google AdSense and we made $11 this month. So now we can move down to product sales. We offer three different products for sale and this month we earned income from two of those products. We sold one Blogging Money Formula course for $350, seven subscriptions to the Blogging Money Update, and eight renewed subscriptions to the Blogging Money Update. Blogging Money Update is a subscription newsletter that sends sponsored post opportunities directly to your email. You get a list of opportunities ranging from $60 to $5,000 blasted directly to your email three times a week. If you want more information on that, you can check out the link in the description. Here is a list of our expenses in April. These expenses are the same reoccurring expenses we have every month. Here is a list of our personnel expenses. This is the last month we are working with a transcriber for our YouTube channel. Our transcriber who has done a great job in the past is unfortunately not able to continue her contract with us. So instead of shopping around for a new transcriber, we're just going to eliminate it. It costs about $40 a month to have our videos transcribed and that is an expense where there is no ROI. So at the moment, I don't see any need to keep it going. April's profit and loss summary. Total monthly gross income, $677. Minus total expenses, $137. We are setting aside $118 for taxes, which leaves us with a monthly net income for April of $421. If you like this monetization tracker sheet, you can download it for free from our website, bloggingmoneylife.com. Don't forget to check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Every Wednesday, we put out new content ranging from tutorial videos on learning how to blog and learning how to monetize your blog. And we also have a vlog going to talk about our recent move to Costa Rica. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you next time.